person is attracted to you. You are not attracted to her. She's an angel. I don't think it's angel. Rose is attracted to you, but you're not attracted to her. Is it angel you want? Is it oh is Maria you like? Like bro square, what is your problem? Like <sighs> really guys, but I don't understand. What are you trying to play at? I'm trying to understand what's going on here, guys. Does anybody understand what's happening here? Because I definitely, I think I'm getting lost. And I don't know, Emmanuel, are you going to be taking this big brother advice from a guy who is truly in love with somebody he's advising you to go chase? Like, are you seriously going to take that advice from him? Like, Emmanuel, are you seriously going to take that advice? back to personality highlights with julie chu welcome if you are a new you're seeing this face for the very first time welcome back if you are already a subscriber please take a minute to subscribe to this channel by clicking right now on the subscribe button you this is basically a review channel where i talk about the big brother niger show shine your eyes easy i do constructive criticism i talk about the show here and basically i just share my opinion on what i think is going on in the house so if you want to get um of my insights about the show please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and of course hit that like button so that more people can actually get to see my content when i put them up and of course it's just a way to support my channel and yeah so it's great to have you guys back here and honestly right now i do not understand that private session that private master class that private um like drilling or brainwashing i don't even know what to call it right now but it was really a strong like it was it was very very obvious that perry was seriously trying to convince emmanuel to stop chasing the chorus and i really wonder why he was doing that like it, there was no how there's no how that advice is going to help him so i'm seriously trying to understand why and one of the interesting parts i i like about the whole thing conversation is that Emmanuel kept saying that he actually likes Icarus more than Perry was actually instigating and i don't know but it looks like a really confusing i'm really confused at the whole thing and eventually to see Perry go back and you know, start gummy body again with Maria just got me all confused. Like, guys, I don't know what is happening in that place. I'm trying to understand what is happening here. Is this hypocrisy? Are we going to call it indecision? Are we going to call it jealousy? Are we going to call it trying to generate content? I'm trying to understand what is happening with this guy called Perry, guys. Okay. So after Perry said that to Emmanuel, I got confused. I found him whispering to what maria and guys if there's anybody that needs to be given a microphone infringement i think Perry deserves to have at least one strike for microphone infringement because guy is always whispering when he's talking to maria and i'm wondering why the hell is doing that and i really don't know why he's still trying so hard with the maria ship I don't know if you've been following the show, you all know that Perry is totally in love with Maria. I'm going to be saying that blatantly. He's totally in love with Maria because he's doing the opposite of everything he has ever said to the guys that he does when it comes to chasing women. <laughs> like, it's really, 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 really funny right now at the moment. His whole plan, his whole strategy is backfiring to his face. And I'm just wondering if he's trying to put up a show with Emmanuel Gist. Like, but I don't, I don't understand what he's playing at. We all know he's the guy who's been giving the guys um womanology lessons 101 to 404 classes to the guys and guys every of those guys tips and tricks on how to chase women has all been backfiring on his face like guys literally Barry is supposed to be the hottest guy in the house he's supposed to have all the girls walking around him chasing after him but it looks like none of the girls are even interested in him in the first place and i'm wondering why the hell is that happening this dude who says who gave the housemates? You guys remember the first time the guys get got into the house? He was the one giving them lectures on how they were supposed to, you know, be difficult to get, not give the ladies attention, and then, you know, staff girls with from attention, and then eventually the girls would chase them, and then they go for what they want. So guys, literally every of this guy's strategy has failed woefully to his face, and I think all the housemates kind of testify to the fact that. All his side talks, all his tips and tricks when it comes to chasing women and getting what they want as a man has actually failed him. Because, guys, Perry has been has announced, has publicly announced that he's attracted to Maria. But, guys, 
babe is not even giving her giving him the limelight so it looks like his hopes are getting quashed i mean he was actually having a conversation with maria and she literally um maria was actually sleeping and you know he came in snuck into the bed and within some minutes maria was out of the bed so it's been very funny how the conversation has been going and i don't know but i feel maria is completely um, uncomfortable with this square guy but he's just he's not giving up and the funny part of the whole story is that he's going about telling Emmanuel crazy stuff I'm trying to understand why he's um um he's kind he's he's trying to I don't know why he's trying to break that ship the Likoros and Emmanuel thing he's trying to tell Emmanuel that Likoros is attracted to him to him and not um and and she's attracted to him and he's not attracted to her like i don't know why that is Perry's headache like i'm trying to understand why Perry is doing that and eventually asking emmanuel if he wants to go after maria and that he was free to go and chase maria like i'm trying to understand why Perry is saying all this i just think dude is a bit confused at the moment because he doesn't know what he's doing i think he's, he's a bit hot he's acting all confused he's doing one thing and the other minute he's doing another thing I don't know what I don't know what you guys think, but for me right now, I think Perry is the most confused housemate in that house. Who his whole tips, tricks, strategy is falling flat on his face and is having a hard time picking that fact up. I mean, looking at the way he reacted when Jackie B came out of the H2H lounge, you know, he felt that somebody was eavesdropping. <laughs> Think you're a smart ass? And if he was having that guilty, you know, he was already feeling for him to feel guilty that um Jackie B was eavesdropping, it means he was probably saying something he wasn't supposed to be saying. So right now I have my fingers crossed and I'm watching him closely, and I think he's somebody we should dread, we should all dread, because the funny tips and tricks he's sharing, the funny advices he's giving. I just pray Emmanuel doesn't take any of that and I think I feel the girls is getting angry at Emmanuel's childish tantrums, not opening up, not um, doing stuff. Um, and I think I understand her feeling. I mean, she was actually complaining to the housemates and basically right now their relationship is an open matter for discussion. I mean, every literally everybody has something to say about Emmanuel and Nicoros' relationship. And I think Nicoros is a bit upset about that. Um, let's just see how Emmanuel reacts to that. And I pray he just grows up and maybe acts more like a gentleman and addresses this issue because it affects Nicoros in a very deep way. So basically, guys, th there's so much drama in the shiny eyes season like the ship ship ships everybody's just been talking about ships Tega talked about like that she she wished she had come into the house single that if she had come she would have made it it would have been very dramatic if she had been single and the guys have been laughing off you know everything that she has been saying but i think for now i think Tega is the only girl there is the only lady that understands this game you know aside angel we all know angel is a cruise princess she knows what's up she knows what she's doing when it comes to delivering content getting the views getting coyote's attention <laughs> because we always see that every time she makes a move coyote is always speaking pointing the camera on her like and basically that is what this housemate should be considering she should be considering giving us content and that is why when i look at people like beatrice who have who is very beautiful of course and who is up for nomination not actually trying to be in the limelight i'm, I'm just like okay maybe it's just a persona and i think that is totally fine but earrings this today gave us like a earful <laughs> from his intellectual i mean we all know earrings is a polymath this dude is so intelligent He's super intelligent that he's literally giving us too much educational tips and at at some point today i think i was actually i had to i had to scream out like what what if somebody can just tell this guy that this is a reality show um i mean reality shows are for entertainment not for information not for education i wish this guy could just get off yes it is cool he's educating the housemates on stuff you know reaction rates about human beings mice and all that but i think it's time for him to get his game up and actually sit up on the show but everything literally everything in the house has been very funny the conversations have been going from personal ships to personal ships and it's been going from one person to the other person and i don't know but right now i think white money is just a bit sidelined i don't know why the camera is not really focusing on him at the moment because i'm missing him on the screen to make us laugh so i just noticed that there's been some switch like we're not getting attention from white money i don't know maybe he's not getting some camera attention and i think i'm bothered about that um i think um 
the camera attention is being shifted to from away from him and i think that is a big problem because we need to hear from this christmas that and i feel maria is actually missing white money so i'm just watching the sheep the parent the parent and the maria sheep i, I just know that uh, maria has openly said he's not she's not interested in having anything with prayer but i'm just trying to understand what prayer is up to giving emmanuel such funny advices because you know maria has said openly that she likes fine guys and she likes emmanuel so basically guys my fingers are crossed i'm trying to see what this guy Perry is up to i don't know if you've noticed his funny moves and funny steps but anyway i think i honestly think that he deserves to get a microphone infringement maybe a stain warning maybe a strike even because he has done that multiple times intentionally just to make sure that we do not hear what he's telling to actually when he's having a conversation with Maria, like it is always repeating itself and i don't know but if biggie doesn't want him then i'm suspecting even biggie so i don't know guys it's been a very 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 crazy um this housemates are full of content they've been giving us content right left center everywhere and i'm basically enjoying all that so guys take a minute to subscribe to this channel um like this video let me know what you guys think about what is happening and basically it looks like i'm back on screen um some of my previous videos i had to just do the audio versions i don't know if i'm going to continue doing that but you guys just have to see me take me as you see me i'm going to produce the content however i feel is convenient for me for now i, I just think i need to work on what is convenient for me because i'm really you know dealing with some personal demons that i have to get over with and it's been a bit overwhelming for me but yeah i'm, I'm very grateful that i'm back on track and yes we're doing this so basically you guys need to check my other video because i'm going to be talking about how to start voting your favorites and how to actually up your game when it comes to the voting progress because guys this whole big brother thing shine your eyes is it is for people who really understand what the theme means shine your eye means voting strategy has changed and you don't want to miss my next video because i'm talking about that in the next video so you need to check the link and then of course let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i'm gonna see you all in my next video